guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in so this video will be all about my baby my Yorkie and his name is Cash Cash is one year old he's almost two years old he will be two years November 13th is his birthday and we purchased cash from a, a family member. He needs a haircut. He's getting a haircut. So we'll do that in this video. But we purchased cash from a family member. He was the first litter. Um, it was three of them, three boys. I wanted a girl, but it wasn't a girl in that litter. It was only three boys. So he does have two litter mates. And I can say that Cash is very spoiled. <laughs> Cash is very spoiled. He does not like kids. He wants all of the attention. If anybody is getting any more attention than him, he has a problem with that. So Cash is very energetic. Um, he's kind of slowing down. We do have a four-year-old mix pit bull, I will say. She's basically a mutt because she's mixed. And we don't know exactly what she's mixed with. But we're just going to say she's just a mi mixed breed. And Keela has kind of simmered down because Cash is in control. He's the boss. Uh, of everybody everything he basically he runs the house he wants everything to surround around him um he think he's tough <laughs> as you can know small dogs they all have that big dog mentality and he definitely does um he thinks he is way bigger than what he is he's very fearless i can say he will try to take on the biggest animal the biggest person he does not have any fear but he is kind of fearful at some things because the fire alarm in the house the fire detector was going off and he was afraid of that he shivers sometimes he used to be afraid of car rides um but now he he enjoys his car rides now but he used when he was a baby um i started off young in the car he has a car seat that he rides in and um he usually he knows when the car is moving he gets in his car seat and um cash is nine pounds i think he's he's on the bigger side of a yorkie because when i took him to the vet they were kind of you know trying to figure out well is he overweight or isn't he overweight but um they deemed him not overweight they deemed him very healthy and but he is nine pounds well he was 9.2 pounds when i took him to the vet and he eats well i didn't think his appetite was good but it is fairly good so i've had cash since he was six weeks old um his tail is chopped which i like which i'm just growing the fur on it so i let his fur grow out um because i want to try a different cut with him this time and i usually bathe him weekly sometimes more than that if he goes outside and he gets dirty he is potty trained and he's outside trained actually but i did start him on the pads that didn't go too well i can actually say that it's harder to train small dogs well yorkies i'm going to say well this yorkie it was kind of harder to train him on pads he would get it and then he wouldn't get it he would still make mistakes but i can say since we moved out here and i let him into the backyard he does let me know when he has to go by coming up this close to my face and looking me in my face and um sometimes he does a little whining um and then he'll go to the door he'll hit the door with his paw so he does let us know when he has to go out but he's outside trained um at the beginning i did not allow him to go out i think for the first uh six months of his life he definitely did not step foot on ground um i don't even think i was walking him i had him in a stroller <laughs> and he does have a stroller so when we go into the stores i will put him on in a stroller just because um he he his legs are short he doesn't walk for he doesn't walk for long periods of time he's not that type of dog um these type of dogs they don't need a lot of exercise even though they are very 
very energetic. He used to do, I call them zoomies, where he'll just zoom around, run around, <laughs> and, you know, just on 100, 100 miles per hour, he's gone. And he still does that from time to time. As he grow older, he doesn't do it as much. He's more lazier now. And I think because more of my bigger dog, they play, but he also follows her lead too. So if she's laying down, he's laying down as well. Sometimes he makes her play. And his diet, he he's very, very picky. Um, I can tell you within these almost two years, still haven't I found I think a couple of things that he will consistently eat but he's a very picky eater the only thing that I can say I sometimes I have to cook his food and that's chicken I know that he will eat different types of meats um, and sometimes I have to put sauces he loves sauces he doesn't like dry food he will eat the dry dog food but it's a certain kind like any of the small dog for the, the dry food for the small dogs he really doesn't like those. He'll eat them if he's hungry, hungry, which I don't even let him get hungry, hungry. I always, I'm always providing a meal for him, of course, but he likes our big dog food. I do not know why, but he will eat that before he eats the this food for the small dog. And trust me, I buy him. I, I think I can try every type of brand of food that there is. And he just he's picky he loves the soft food and i'll show you guys exactly what i feed him and what he likes to eat but sometimes i will make him real chicken and other meats like he'll eat any type of meat that's cooked it depends on how it's cooked <laughs> but he kind of likes real food um he doesn't like that artificial food so and right now we're out and about so we're just taking a little drive and so he he does have a car seat and he's been in this car seat since he he's a baby i do have it strapped down let me see i do have it strapped down to this little um portion so it is strapped down and it's kind of old i ordered it off amazon for about Hmm, 40 or 50 dollars i don't even remember because we've had it for so long but that's where he rides it also has a harness to strap him in um and majority of the time i ain't even gonna lie to you i don't strap him in um sometimes i will but i usually don't strap him in and usually if i hit brakes or anything he knows to lay down when i'm driving he kind of lays down in his seat right now we're parked and he knows it so he's very inquisitive on what's going on around us but he's he does well in his car seat now his um his stroller um he'll get in that he'll ride around and also it zips close um to just protect him from uh, other dogs and also small children because he doesn't like kids <laughs> he doesn't like to be petted you know yeah, he's not he's not good with kids. So he's very jealous. Um yeah. If a baby is getting attention, he wants the attention. He he don't he don't fare well with kids. Now if he know that that child, but usually he barks at them. He, you know, kids they kind of want to um play with them, rub them, pet them. Cash cash don't go for all of that. He don't do all that. Mm-mm. The only thing that I can say that uh, about Cash that I would change is he wants to lick you dead in your mouth. Like, I, we've been working on that since he's been a baby. He wants to lick you and kiss you dead in your mouth. And he knows when I say stop to stop, but he'll still try to do it every time. He, it hasn't come to a point where he does not completely like lick you in your face. Because he still, he'll still try to do it and you have to either turn away or tell him to stop. And he don't mean any harm with it, but this is my baby. And I don't dress him up a lot because he doesn't like clothes. And to be honest, I don't like the clothes the way the clothes look on him. He does have a few outfits, and I will from time to time um, dress him up. But I feel like if he was a girl, I probably would dress him up more. I'm really not into all of the boy clothes that they have for dogs, which are just regular t-shirts with sands and phrases on them um i he does have some and then i noticed like the the other two that i just bought they were smalls and he can barely fit them 
So after he gets his haircut, I'm gonna see if they fit a little better. And I may have to get him a medium. <laughs> I ain't never heard of a small dog wearing a medium. Okay, he's supposed to wear a small. And he wasn't extra small when he was a baby. He was an extra small when I first got him. Um, but yeah, so I don't dress him up a lot. I did um, grow out. I was trying to grow out this part because I used to put it into a little ponytail, but then I didn't like that because I'm not putting bows on it or anything. Um, and so the only thing that I really change out is his collar. And as you can see, um, let's see which side is this. I do have his name on one side. Then I have my name and my phone number. Cause baby, if he get lost, return him to me okay now i did get him fixed so he is neutered and i thought long and hard about it because i thought well do i want him to breed and i i really don't i don't want to breed him i don't want to breed any dogs um so i decided to get him fixed and also i wanted to kind of correct any behaviors because <laughs> He had already started with the the humping and i'm gonna call it humping but he was humping my older he was humping the bigger dog and you know she's huge she, he can literally probably fit in her mouth and she was humping his face he was humping her face and you know it just was very inappropriate so I, I i decided to go ahead and get him fixed as well and why i did that i also got him chipped because i didn't want him to go through the pain yeah i didn't want my baby to suffer the pain of them installing the chip with him not being sedated i wouldn't want the chip installed without sedation so therefore i'm not going to get my baby a chip install with that long needle and it hurts it hurts them so i decided to do it when he got neutered so he is chips and it's updated because i need my dog i love my dog and i pay my money for my dog and i want my dog and so yes and so i usually keep an eye on him i don't let him roam the neighborhood i know some people let their animals roam um the neighborhood i don't do that I keep an eye on my dog and my neighborhood is the type if they see a dog they'll try to pick up your dog post them on the Facebook because we have a community Facebook um, page and they'll do that um, so that you can find your dog so they're very helpful so in that case if he gets out it will you know make me feel more secure that he'll be returned but people steal these dogs all the time so you know i don't i don't let my dog out my sight at all okay even when he in the stroller baby i have it zipped up locked and everything else you will not steal my dog and th they do that a lot of people are like girl don't nobody want your dog yes they do they want your dog and i didn't pay that much for him because that was the first of the the litter so i did pay under a thousand for him um and I know that these dogs go for two thousand. Uh, lately, uh, you've been—it's a whole lot of underground breeders now, so you can get these dogs for like eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. Um, the female dogs will go for more than the males, um, just because you can reproduce and breed them. So you typically they sell the females. I do want a female. Um, and I'll probably get her fixed because I don't want to, I don't want them to breed. I don't want my dog to breed at all. I don't, I don't want no kids. Okay. Don't bring nobody else that I got to take care of. Even though that a lot of people sell them and they do make a profit off of it. That is something that I choose not to do. And that's why I didn't want to, um, that's why I got him fixed. So he is neutered. Now with the grooming, I do get him groomed every, at first I was getting them groomed quite often. I think it was every three to four weeks, but now I kind of space it out um, two, two to three months. I don't know when the last time I had him groomed. It's been a, it's been a couple of months. Um, I've given it time for his tail to grow out and for his fur to grow out. And so I haven't had anybody to groom him where I just absolutely love it. Like, I'm trying to find a cut for him that I really, really love. And on his tail, his tail is cut short, as you can see. 
so I'm trying to um I'm growing it out because it, it stops uh, you can't see it but it stops here so I'm trying to grow his tail out um just because I want that little flur flur up so I'm gonna see if I can do that so I, I'll tell them not to cut his tail and I kind of want to keep a little fur on his uh paws too because this this golden brown it is so cute and when you cut it down you really can't see the color as much as when it's grown out so um I don't know so I kind of want to keep some fur on his paws as well because that that color is really pretty and he started out all black he was an all black dog I think he had a little bit of brown and some spots of uh, white but his color has really changed and he's dirty right now but this is platinum on the top of his head this is platinum so he's platinum he's uh, I guess they call this blue this little pepper gray um, coloring here and then he's the the brown the blonde whatever you want to call that um but he is a cute sweet little little baby and i love him death but i um usually change out his collars so he does have quite a few collars that i change out and that's just my way of dressing him up um for his birthday i will put the bandanas on him or some of the sort but other than that for his dressing him up i really don't do so this is our big dog Keela and don't mind my grass it's over 100 degrees in Texas yeah, that's my dog her birthday is July 31st and she will be 5 <clears throat> she has put on some weight as she gets older she puts on more weight she's less active but she does interact with Cash and she plays with Cash she's very gentle with him and she almost took on a motherly role um, by she is a protector she is his protector he can bark whine and she's coming and she's coming with a vengeance um she don't even know what be going on half of the time she just coming ready to fight anytime that he'll bark or if she feel like he's in danger but he and he knows that so he will bark and look for her to come so we call him a mess starter because he does that when we take her out of the yard into the neighborhood we always have her leashed chained choke chained and everything else um because she is strong and i think she's mixed mixed with pit so that aggression comes so i have a couple of these water jugs throughout the house where they can get water at any time that they feel like they need to drink water um this is the one that i have in the kitchen so usually when they come from outside they go to this water bowl and we keep it full sometimes we put ice in it sometimes we don't and this is my pantry and inside my pantry these are their uh food containers so one holds um the hard food and it's supposed to be for the big dog as well as this container this holds i like to get gravy train and um because i make her meals with gravy train so this regular dog food is just perina chow um some type of dog food like that it's just the big i get the 40 pound bag and and i fill it up so i just use this to fill up their freestanding um feeding containers like this so i fill this with this and i sit this out so they can eat at any time i don't limit my dogs i let them choose because if they were out in the wild they would eat as they please but i do feed them meals sometimes i feed them only one time a day because they can free free feed if they want to so i feed them a nice big meal because sometimes because they know i feed them meals they won't eat that hard food until they're absolutely hungry so sometimes it stays full and i and i don't feed them now this is cash's hard food and this is just the brand that i'm trying now i always try different brands with him he seems to like this a little better um than the other brands that i have tried so we're work, working on this bag and i think this bag will be the bag that i continually get because i've tried a lot of bags <laughs> and sometimes he don't even eat a whole bag that's why we get the smaller bag i try to get the smallest bag i can for him because just in case he doesn't like it and guess who eats it so i'm not worried about trying new foods for him because she'll take care of it 
it doesn't matter <laughs> she eats it uh keila is not picky whatsoever she eats whatever i put in front of her um the only thing that she won't eat continuously is the hard food so and usually i'll put cash's um hard food in this container but when i do keila's food because they like gravy and wet food um i do use the gravy train and i know and the, it's gone so that's how much that um they love the gravy train so this is the gravy train that i get for them and you just add water and it makes a nice um wet gravy so my dogs love that because i don't know why they love wet food so couple of months and I wanted to show you this because when I run out of the gravy train like I am now I usually make I usually use this gravy or if I'm cooking them chicken usually I do <laughs> when I cook I feed my dogs but I put this on their food especially the hard food because cash he's picky he won't eat it they need some type of sauce because they don't like the hard food so I give an illusion that it's soft food by putting gravy on it so then they're thinking that they're actually eating a meal um, by having the gravy on there and this jar is less than a dollar or it's a dollar so, I mean, it's not expensive at all, so I'm not spending a lot of money, but these are my babies. And so for their wet food and the meal that I feed them probably once a day, um, this is Cash Loves This. This is my fresh pet and it's in the refrigerated aisle. It has to say refrigerated and <clears throat> I really like it because it's, um, it's scored. Here it is right here. So. You just cut that piece off and then you, I just chop it up in small pieces. Um, but it shows exactly, you know, what a, a service size will be. Sometimes I give them a smaller portion. It all depends. And then I got this one from PetSmart yesterday because I'm gonna see if he liked that one. But basically they're the same. One is just for a small dog and the other, well, this is chicken and turkey and this one is just chicken. But um, I think he'll eat that. If, not, if he doesn't eat it, then my big dog will. He also likes this, and I kind of give, this is also in a refrigerated aisle from uh, Fresh Pet for small dogs. It's basically the same thing, but it's almost like crumbles, and I almost give him this as a snack when he doesn't, when I feel like he didn't eat or he's hungry trying to eat my food. I give him that, and I get the big dog uh, Fresh Pet as well when I make her uh, dinners. And this is the chicken. Yeah, this is the home-cooked chicken with uh, cranberries and garden vegetables. So I usually get her the bigger bag. I thought that I ordered the bigger bag, but obviously I didn't. But so she'll probably run through this, but I won't put much in it. I'll just put a little bit in it. So usually I mix these products with their uh, gravy train. And if I run out of gravy train, I just put the hard food and I'll use the gravy. But this they'll eat by alone by itself but I don't order much of it. So I try to stretch it and make it last. So that's why I mix it with the uh, horror food or either the gravy train, but they love it. So this is the gravy train and I added um, warm water to it. So then I just mix it up. So this is a consistency that it makes. You see the gravy at the bottom and they love it. So I put a little scoop in Cash's bowl. Cause he don't eat much. So I put that in Cash's bowl. And then I, I'll cut up their um, refrigerated food and just put it on top. Okay, so this is the small dogs. And usually I could mix that up, but usually I don't. And this is Keela's with hers on top. It don't matter if you mix hers up or not. She gonna eat it. Look at her waiting. 
<laughs> and usually sometimes I'm just doing this for video purpose, but usually I separate their bowls because they like to switch bowls. Uh, Keela will eat out of the small bowl and uh, Cash will eat out of the big bowl. I don't know why they do that, but they do sometimes. So usually I would like put uh, I, mm -mm, Cash eat, no. Come on, Papa. So usually I use the uh, mobile grooming that comes to the house to groom Cash. So she's here. You are here looking like me. Shut up. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi, Cash. Hi, Lily. <laughs> Hi. So, um, have you groomed him before? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. So, his tail, I am growing his tail out. Okay. So, I really don't want his tail cut because I want it to be, like, fluffy and I want that little curve over. Even yeah. though his tail is chopped. Yeah, no worries. I want the hair on the tail. But you can trim it just a little bit, but I want his hair on his tail. Okay. And then for his face... Um, I know his hair is pretty long this time. Try to get the, the rounded teddy bear cut. Okay. I want majority of his hair. You can cut around his ears, though. Okay, you want his ears trimmed up around? Yes, okay. yes. I want his whole face trimmed, but not a lot, but enough. A little bit. Yeah, and then... Um, pretty, did you want the same length you did last time on the body? Yeah. How? What's the length that I... Uh, you did a one comb reverse, so it took pretty much like about that off. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. You can go a little bit shorter this time and just, I'll let it grow back out. Okay. Um, but on his paws, I kind of wanted to leave a little bit of that hair just because of the color. Yeah, okay. But just a little longer on the paws. Uh, not on the paws, but his leg, legs. And then oh. shorter on the body. Yeah, so kind of a little bit fluffier on the legs yes. and the body. Yes. Okay. Bye bye, Papa. Yeah, and see. definitely his nails trimmed as oh, short as you can get them because oh, they've grown, yeah, they've grown out a whole lot. Definitely. And that's it. Thank you. You're Are you going to put the shade up? Uh, it's already up, but you know, if. Can you crack it just a little bit so I can just check, like, just leave it a little bit so I can just look in there? Yeah. Of okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So she's going to sit out here and go. Hi. I was checking because I just saw her thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I was going to also swing back by later. Uh huh. Refer, refer Did I do what? Refer, refer them. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. They're, they're pretty good and they come out on time so i really really like it and you can peek in and look and okay, everything so they stay right there and everything? yeah she's gonna stay right there and finish him okay, yeah. she's not gonna go in uh-huh so, oh so, like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes yeah, she's gonna sit here and then i'll go out and check every now and then until he gets done grooming and hopefully he comes out right because nobody ever grooms him the way that i like but his hair is so long i need to learn how to do it myself that's what i need to learn how to do and so this is the front door as you can see so on the front door we keep this little thing that i ordered from amazon and we don't keep treats in here but usually i keep the little bags that you the poop picking up bags so I keep that in there. I don't put treats in here for them. But um, so this is Cash's leash, and I use a harness for him because I don't like to put anything around his neck um, because I don't want to damage his trachea. And this is Keila's. Um, I call it a choke chain, but I'm not really sure of what it's called. But it really helps with slowing her down and stopping her to pull. And she has this one. She doesn't have on her collar right now. Because um, when she's in the house, I think they take it off of her. But this is her leash. And this is another chain leash that we have. Because she's very, very strong. And she can't snap a leash. This one is Cash's. Let me see. Let me see what your what your bandana say. One eight hundred pet mobile. Let me see. Aussie. Uh, get back up there, Pug. He ain't letting me record him. Okay, come here. Let me see. 
Let me see your tail. Yep, so she left your tail fluffy, like I want. His face? I don't know. I don't know how she did. I don't know how I like it. I never like when they do his face. But it's better than what it was. It'll grow out. Mm, go get in your bed. So this is Cash's bed, and it's right next to my bed in my room, and this is where he sleeps. So this is where Keela sleeps, and it's not by our choice, but by hers. Um, when we first moved here, we had her bed in the common area, and I guess the it was too cold. So she will always come sleep in here, and <laughs> she will find a pile of clothes or anything that she could lay on but she would come in in our closet in the master bedroom and she would sleep here so we just decided to put her bed in here so this is her room which is our closet <laughs> and she loves it she gets away from cash <laughs> and she loves being by herself so this is her her territory actually fighting at night this is just the way they play I don't know why Keela got to be so vocal with it when she plays. But Cash is definitely nice. She's not afraid. But Keela is also gentle. Keela, 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 Keela. If she really wanted to hurt him, she could. But she doesn't. I was afraid that she would hurt him before, but <laughs> he's the one to do all the attacking. <laughs> 